Taking you now to breaking news this morning in Atlanta, where water is out for neighborhoods across the city. This is a live look at Peachtree Street Northwest at 11th Street, and you can see water spewing from the ground this morning. We had a crew on scene all night long, and you can see that water still gushing from the ground, and that's where that break happened. Work crews, they tell us that it could be a while before repairs begin. Now this morning, we are making calls to find out what caused this break and how long repairs are expected to take. Looking at photos from right when it happened, we also know at least two other breaks happened Friday evening, one on Atlantic Drive Northwest near Atlantic Station and another water main break on Joseph E. Boone, where we're told they are not connected. This is also new video from the break over on Boone. We also had a crew on that scene overnight there. You can see repairs are underway right now. Now, so here's what we know about this break. It's a 48 inch water line break. This happened Friday morning. Watershed management. They tell us that repairs didn't begin right away because they had to spend hours studying maps of the water lines and get enough crews together to fix that break. This area is actually where three major lines intersect and they also service different parts of town. Also, take a look at your screen right now. This is a map of the impacted areas. You can see it covers parts of downtown. Also, the Grant Park, Old Fourth Ward, East Atlanta, and West End neighborhoods. Now, we asked the Department of Watershed Management Commissioner how this happened, and should we be concerned about the city's infrastructure? Well, we honestly don't know. I mean, it's, you know, with water utilities, it's just it's various reasons. But as we begin to drain the lines and get access to the infrastructure, we'll learn more. Restaurants and bars, they were forced to close for the time being. The same goes for the aquarium and the zoo and the Meg the Stallion concert. It was supposed to happen last night at the State Farm Arena. That show was canceled. Aleta Lies Angelina Salicito, she caught up with some fans who came from different states for last night's show. Rushing down the street. I'm trying to go this way, but if the eye from here, you can see the water running down there. Water takes over the neighborhood in Vine City. While it's fun for the kids, some in the metro are left posting to social media without water. You can't wash your dishes, you can't wash your clothes, you can't brush your teeth, you can't take a shower, you can't cook, you can't do nothing because there's no water. Two miles away from the break here. Me too, girl. Exactly. exactly. We ain't from here. Exactly. I just flew here from Nebraska. Meg, the Stallion fans are left disappointed in downtown Atlanta. Yeah, when you said it's canceled, I was like, she's kidding. <laughs> right. She's joking. <laughs> you weren't joking. Like, There's so no like, way. Oh, man. State Farm Arena making the announcement on social media saying water main breaks across the city moved it to Sunday. I know it's not her fault and she wouldn't have done it on purpose. So like, I'm not mad at that. I'm just mad at the circumstances, like the situation of it's it. It's really just inconvenient. Yeah. That it's like the gist of it is just a real big inconvenience because you do have people who are coming out of state, out of, you know, town. And good news for fans, Meg's show for tonight is still on State Farm Arena. They're being transparent, letting fans know that they're in contact with the city of Atlanta and will let everything know, everyone know rather, if things change. As a result of the water main breaks, Grady Health Systems, they canceled appointments Friday afternoon. We are working to confirm if it will impact anything scheduled for today. This morning, many of you are under a boil water advisory. A few reminders for you. It is not safe to drink tap water, even though it's gone through your fridge or your pitch filter. You can bathe during a boil water advisory as long as you're healthy and you do not have any cuts on your body. And if you're going to wash your dishes, boil the water first and make sure your dishwasher gets up to at least 170 degrees. 